Hi guys, Songboy13, it's time for the web forecast for the week ahead. I'm going to make sure it's up before midnight, because it's been like this every week where it's up after Sunday, so... Um, but anyways, um, it is a glorious day outside, you know, after a cold winter, or well, particularly January and first half of February, we've been treated to some early spring-like weather recently, especially the last few days. Just beautiful. We reached 15 degrees on Wednesday, even though we had a bit more clouds. Um, this week's weather... Um, it's not going to be as warm this week, unfortunately. It will stay dry pretty much all the way through into the weekend. Uh, but it's likely there will be a much cloudier week. Temperatures obviously won't be as high, especially by the end of the week. Temperatures will be around, if not a little bit below average. So certainly going to feel a big difference to what you've been used to recently. Uh, but overall, it's dry, just cloudy and cooler, basically. Um, now for today's weather... Well, I think today will be the last day nationwide we'll get to see widespread sunshine across the British Isles. There are a few exceptions. Norwich, um, in parts of Norfolk, may hang on to the low cloud pretty much most of the day. So temperatures there will be at its lowest, actually one of the coldest places in the UK, at just 6 or 7 degrees. But elsewhere in the sunshine, temperatures basking in double figures, temperatures into the 50s if you're used to seeing this in Fahrenheit. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised today, we may even squeeze 13, maybe 14 degrees Celsius in one or two places, particularly somewhere in South or southwest England but overall it's a stunning day today for most places and um, pretty much it's going to be dry everywhere now tonight's weather I think the cloud will start to increase especially towards the eastern half of the UK so temperatures will probably lift a little after they will take a bit of a dip before they reach freezing values so temperatures I think overall will be around three to six degrees celsius I think the temperatures lowest will be towards further west maybe closer to freezing there where we still see some clear skies around because that cloud coming in from the east will be moving in right towards the British Isles and pretty much mostly throughout the week there may be a few exceptions but um, this is uh, what it's going to be like throughout the week ahead now tomorrow's weather tomorrow is a brand new season meteorological spring officially starts tomorrow it's March the 1st um, and actually it will be a bit of a disappointing day, you know, for many places, um, particularly towards northern England, eastern central, possibly southeast England, it is actually going to stay um, very overcast for, for much of the day. A few limited sunny spells, but overall much greyer than what we've been used to, and as a result temperatures will not be anywhere near as high. We're probably only going to see around 6 to 8 degrees Celsius, which actually is close to average, if maybe a degree or two below for some of you. I think the warmest places will be southwest England, parts of Dorset, Wiltshire, um, um, yeah, Cornwall, and actually parts of northeastern Scotland away from the clouds. Temperatures could be into the close to the mid-teens tomorrow if you get any prolonged periods of sunshine. So it will feel quite warm. Everywhere else is a different feel, but at least it's dry. Into Tuesday, I think pretty much the cloud will be more widespread pretty much everywhere across the British Isles. Um, it will be difficult to find temperatures into double figures. Many will stay below 10 Celsius throughout Tuesday. A lot of clouds, a few limited sunny spells possible. Uh, but overall, again, it's staying dry. Uh, temperatures, I think, throughout the range of the UK, around 6 to 9 degrees Celsius. There will be a few exceptions. If you're lucky enough to see any prolonged periods of sunshine, they will be a lot warmer than this. But um, that other than that, all I can promise you. Into Wednesday, might be a bit interesting. Um, Wednesday, we might see a little bit of a low we uh, weather front, low pressure system just around the Channel Islands, which may produce a few showers, and it isn't far off from s southern England on Wednesday, so it could produce a little bit of drizzle or light patchy rain into Wednesday. The pressure will start to lower a little bit, but elsewhere, it's a dry picture. Uh, temperatures, I think, maybe on Wednesday, some parts of northern England, we may see some cloud breaks, so maybe temperatures, if you're lucky, you have a bit of a higher chance of seeing temperatures into double figures, but I think, for again, for eastern parts and central areas, you're likely to stay with the cloud and temperatures maybe more like 7 to 8, so... But but if you um, get in the sunshine, maybe 11 or 12 if you're very, very lucky. Um, into Thursday, we're going to start to see a change in the wind direction. A northerly wind, or even a northeasterly wind, should I say, will start to make an effect across the British Isles. We've got a new area of high pressure. It's towards the North Sea, but the winds will be coming from a clockwise direction, and we're in from the um, outer edges of the high pressure, so we'll be getting the northerly wind. So temperatures will be a little bit below average for some of you by the end of the week. So on Thursday, I think the low pressure we had initially on near southern England should die away, or clear away at least and pressure water should be vinaigrate and for many areas it's actually going to be a dry day once again but again we keep a lot of clouds I think eastern areas will be really dull, quite foggy and temperatures maybe only 
five to six degrees Celsius, for example, in Lincoln, uh, maybe towards further west, maybe near Manchester, maybe around Blackpool, temperatures maybe not as low, seven to eight more typically, but temperatures overall five to eight with a lot of cloud. It might turn a bit wind breezier as well, so it, also, it might start to feel a little bit chilly and a bit warmer. And it will be the same picture into Friday, a lot of clouds, some sunny spells, particularly towards western areas if you're lucky, because we're going to get a bit of a north or north easterly wind, so western areas will be least likely to see the coldest and the dullest of the weather. So some sunny spells likely, but again, temperatures not much change Friday, five to eight degrees Celsius nationwide. And as we get into next weekend, well, pretty much it's the same for Saturday. Um, it's always difficult to get the exact data correct by five days time. So really for Saturday, mostly cloudy skies likely, temperatures staying a little below average, for particularly towards eastern areas towards Saturday five to eight degrees celsius nationwide into next week i think beginning of next week it's going to stay on the cold but mostly dry side just not a lot of sunshine um i think potentially there may be a breakdown from midweek according to some data reports so likely from midweek onwards pressure will be lower we're going to start to see some rain coming in from the atlantic which we've not seen for some places for about two weeks by then so rain will be sweeping in from midweek onwards potentially temperatures probably a bit closer to average we'll probably lose the cold northeasterly wind but other than that that's um all i can promise you so possibly a little bit uh, some rain and wind at times towards the uh, middle half of next week possibly uh, temperatures not very spectacular probably a little bit milder but uh, not as mild as we had recently let's say so more like high single figures low double figures for you lucky so overall it's close to average and uh and uh, that's it for this week's weather so uh if you love the sunshine make the most of it it's not going to last for quite a few of you this week anyways that is it for this week's weather i'm gonna plan to do a lockdown walk tomorrow so we're still in this until the 8th of march uh at least for some of you and um i'll try and get more videos out for you then guys so um anyways that is it for this week's weather forecast hope you enjoyed it please give it a like comment subscribe storm is now out and stay safe